Hello, I'm Roger Fu. Today I'm going to talk about two new tools we developed to conduct paleomagnetic experiments at some millimeter scales using the QDM. The QDM, or the quantum diamond microscope, is a recently developed imaging magnetometer that can produce micrometer resolution maps of magnetic fields. So far, it has been used in about half a dozen studies as a rock magnetic tool. Specifically, it has been useful in, in identifying the carriers of magnetizations in a range of rock samples. But to use the QDM as a paleomagnetic tool, that is using the QDM to characterize natural remnant magnetization, we have developed some more quantitative techniques that I'll describe here. First of all, we developed and validated a protocol for quantifying net magnetic moments, much like has been done for other magnetometers like the 2G cryogenic magnetometer and the squid microscope. The extra challenge with QDM data is sometimes it has too much spatial resolution. So we had to perform upper continuation to isolate the dipole component of the magnetic field, which in turn can be used to compute the net magnetization. By testing on a synthetic uh, source map or a number of synthetic source maps, we find that we can achieve accuracies of better than about 6% in a net moment. And we validate this result experimentally by comparing uh, QDM data to squid microscope data on the same samples. This analysis procedure, which is described in our recent paper, allows the QDM to act as a high resolution moment magnetometer with mag maximum sensitivity about two to three orders of magnitude better than the 2G cryogenic magnetometer and comparable to the squid microscope. However, there are always gonna be cases where the magnetization sources are simply too complex for even upper continuation to isolate the moment. In these cases, we can still recover some useful information using the QDM. Specifically, we developed a technique to look for change in the magnetic field map during AF or thermal demagnetization. Therefore, we can characterize a coercivity or thermal unblocking spectrum of a source without explicitly quantifying its net moment. So in this example um, of natural remnant magnetization in a Martian meteorite, we define a number of 10 to 100 micron sized regions and quantified how their signal changes during AF treatment. And we find that the main component of NRM decays between about 40 and 60 milliteslas. This information can be compared to the demagnetization sequence of these samples um, taken from, for example, the 2G magnetometer to reveal the grain population that carries a particular NRM component. So to summarize, the tools we develop here allow the QDM maps to be used in quantifying the, the demagnetization of natural remnant magnetization, and therefore allows it to characterize um, paleomagnetic signals in, sub, in subregions of rock samples that are less than a millimeter in size. So with these techniques, we hope more studies uh, will be down the road where the QDM is used to recover information about ancient magnetic fields. Um, so we hope to see you at the poster session uh, from all the co-authors. And yes, that is Mike in the bow tie. See you.